I'm fighting hard to hold my own. Hi, America from my phone, and welcome to another video. Today we are getting back into Monty Skeen. Still trying to figure out if I'm pronouncing it properly, but today we're getting back into them because you all really liked that reaction, and I know I personally loved listening to them and have really been jamming out to Ziddy Boney ever since I reacted to it. And so it's time to get into some more. I really want to. And how we're going to do that today is, originally I wanted to do the Ziddy E. Boney live performance from Eurovision, but it's not available in the United States. So I think I need to figure out how to do a VPN or something because I still want to watch it. And obviously so many people across the world watched it. So it's not like they took it down specifically for the United States. It's just, they don't like us, those Europeans, they don't. I don't know why. But if you know how, I can watch it, or if you have a private link or something like that, I would love to react to it later this month in De Stormber, or like we'll do that at a later time. But today we are going to be doing something different, which is listening to Begin, which is off of their 2017 album, which I think is mainly covers. Not quite certain on that, but Begin is a cover. That's all I know about it and that everyone loves it. So I'm going to listen to that song and I am also going to watch their AMA performance of it. I don't think they have a music video. There was one that said official video, but I think it's like from, you know, one of those channels that likes to make official music videos when they're not official. So we will see how the performance is because you all said that a live performance is a great way to really like listen to them. So I'm hoping to get that experience today as well as another great song from their discography. But anyway, thank you for requesting this video. Let's get into it. First, we're going to start with the song. It's definitely his voice from before. I'm begging. Oh, wait, I feel like I've heard this type of groove before. I'm begging you to put your 11 hand out, baby. Oh, I like that, the drums. Easy come and easy go. Okay, spit it fast. <laughs> this has got a good groove to it. I love how they let us like, break the instrumentation and bring it back. Yes. Oh my God, I can't even understand what he's saying now. Oh, darling. Oh, every time it just like switches gears. Oh yeah. Do it from the throat. Ah, shout it a little bit, okay. Oh, subtle way to end. So that was begging and Oh, I'm begging to hear more now. I don't just want to go fully into Monty Skeen. Yeah, I really do. Oh, that was intense. I liked it. Yes. I know it's a cover, so I'm not going to praise them on like their lyricism, but their vocals? Ah, oh, so good. Like, I liked his vocals on ZD Pony, but his vocals on this song? Like he just fully went out and like really enjoyed it, which was very exciting. Which makes me very excited about other songs that are covered on this album. Like somebody told me, I think that's probably gonna be the one from The Killers, hopefully. And then You Need Me, I Don't Need You from Ed Sheeran, which, ooh, like a kind of like a flow kind of song. I think he'd kill it. Yeah, that makes me excited about that. Maybe I'll do those ones on my own time because those ones haven't been requested really at all, but this song I actively enjoyed like a lot and yeah I think he made it like the Monty Skeen song I guess they made it like with all the production and instrumentation on it like they are a band together so I'm not going to say it's just him giving credit but the vocals really carry it if that makes sense like the other instrumentation like the drums and everything 
it makes it exciting and makes me like be like, oh, where are we going next? But the vocals and the timbre and the rasp in his voice and all that good stuff, it's good. It's real, real good. The song is about, you know, begging to put your love and hand out. I think just really wanting your partner to help you out when you're struggling and all that. I think that's the general vibe. I didn't go too much into lyrics because again, it's a cover, but I think they really sold it and made it, you know, have that sense of like emotion that's not just like, oh, we're rebelling and we're gonna like party hard. Like it's a song that has like emotional tinges and makes it work out pretty well. With that, let's watch the performance. I'm excited to see them live. Like so, so excited. I, I, I kind of freeze just thinking about it. Oh, he starts a cappella. Oh, he looks handsome. Oh, is that a Yahoo? Okay, Yahoo. Ooh, strobe lighting. Good choice. Okay, yeah, you guys, guitar hard. Oh yes, oh my god, that would be so much fun on the drum. Oh, I didn't realize that there was all this guitar riffing happening at this point. Because that's difficult. At least how I think it is. He looks like so like cool. I think of like the BTS VMAs like looks of them. Them being BTS. <laughs> Oh, okay. Beg that man. Wait, or is that her? I cannot. No, that's him. Okay, yes. Rip off of each other. They're jamming. Now the guitars are ripping off each other. Good for them. Oh, I love how he did that. Finding hard to hold my own. Yes, shout it for us. Whoa. No, thank you. All right, that was the performance. That was the AMAs. They didn't deserve that. <laughs> this is good. I guess this actually came out recently, just a couple weeks ago now. Yeah, because it was the AMAs that I didn't pay any attention to at all. I'm glad they got invited and they got to perform. Hopefully they walked away with some awards because they should have. Yes, this was wonderful. I fully vibe with it. I saw that lead singer in a different light when he got on his knees for that guy. All right, I'm not complaining. I think I mentioned in the Ziti Iboni video, but a friend mentioned that the entire group gives by energy, and I feel that spiritually and physically, internally, externally, eternally. Yes. Oh, this is good. I want to watch this performance again, and I almost never want to do that. I don't care too much for live performances normally, but this one was like a reason to give live performances. The crowd was like electric. And the strobe lighting was everything. Hopefully no one there had like epilepsy or is prone to seizures or something like that. I hope, you know, <laughs> for everyone's safety. But this looked like a ton of fun. Yeah, I wanna be there. He really carried it, the singer did. The guitarist really brought it and I didn't realize them as much in the mix when I was hearing it on my speaker, but like hearing it in headphones and in this performance space, you could tell like they were you know, going off. And then the drummer was going off the dun, dun, dun. every time that happens, I'm sure they're having a blast. Like I'm a percussionist. This live performance makes me want to be a part of a band, honestly. And I don't think I've wanted to be a part of a band for a while. So they're giving me a reason to really like them. And I'm so glad I got to watch them live because oh my God, oh my God. Can I watch more things live from them? I think so, you all were like heavily requesting live performances. So please let me know, especially your favorite live performances, but also like the original songs from them because I also want to react to those collectively because I love knowing the song before going into it. But Beggin was good. 
the live performance is better, but that doesn't mean the song is bad. It's not. It's like great and then oh my god, if that makes sense. What did you think of the song? What did you think of the performance? Please let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below as well as all the other Mani Skin things you want me to react to in the future because I plan on doing some more this month and I would love your input. Also, are you guys going to be interested in the Chosen Covers album like the rest of it? Because otherwise I might just like listen to that on my own time because I want to hear some of that. <laughs> If you like this video, please like it, just comment down below so you can interact or listen to next. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and you'd like to be. And thanks for watching. This is Charles Stormer. Catch you later. It's storming turtles from out of the sky. Turtles don't need to know why. Smile big, open your eyes. It's storming turtles. It's storming turtles from out of the sky. Turtles don't need to know why. My own big, oh.